You hear the stories all the time, school districts wanting to cut costs to make ends meet. The last place they want to do that's in the classroom. But as 7 News reporter Dale Cedar shows us, Denver considers nurses almost as important as teachers. School nurses are more than ice packs and band-aids. One out of every four school kids has a special medical need, from asthma to food allergies to prescribed medicine. And people will say, oh, that's Band-Aids and Tylenol, but if they would come and spend a day with a school nurse in a school building, they would be amazed at the chronic conditions that children have. As school budgets shrink, many districts are cutting school nurses. We checked, and Colorado ranks 40th in the nation for the ratio of nurses to students. That's one for every 1,800 kids. The budget the way it is, it's, it is very difficult, and, and school boards have had to make very difficult decisions. So we do injections. We do emergency medication injections like epinephrine. There's also um, some other meds that we have to give if a child is having um, a seizure that isn't stopping. We found Denver Public Schools is the rare exception. The district wants to staff a nurse in every school. The reason? We are the first line for health care for these kids. A lot of them don't have access to health services. Denver Public Schools says more and more of their students don't have health insurance, and there's no quick remedy for that. There's almost not one day that goes by that I don't have a child who comes here first and says, you know, I'm not feeling very well. My mom wants me to, t to go to the doctor. She doesn't have money to pay, so she wants me to check with you first to see if I, it, it's something that I need to go to the doctor for. Despite the tight budget, the district has no plans to cut school nurses. In fact, there are plans to actually hire more. In Denver, Dale Cedars, 7 News. Denver's goal to keep the number of school nurses up is part of its Health Agenda 2015. That plan lays out making school meals more nutritious, increasing physical activity, and getting more students health insurance.